Hey, what's up, everyone? And we're back with another video for you guys. Today's video will be on another one of the Car Street Diecast. This one's on the single of Broadside from the Car Street Diecast line 2017. This is one of the Demolition Derby contenders. And now, I haven't gotten many other Demolition Derby cars recently, but I have gotten a few. And I do have another one after this to review, which is Pushover, which I don't have with me within hand's reach right now. It's in another room, so I can't show the package of him in here, unfortunately. But anyway, Anyway, let's get right on with the review of Broadside. Now, I know the package is damaged, but that's how it came because Code May Zero, which is the guy I bought it from, this is the only condition he had it, at least for me. So, whatever, I'm gonna open him up anyway. Like I said before in my Darren Ledfoot video, I definitely do recommend the eBay seller Code May Zero. He has a bunch of rare stuff on his store, like he probably even does have the legit Apple iCar, and possibly some other rare ones as well, like El Matador, Bye Bye Car, some of those he probably does have them, and more recent one as well, or maybe a random car as well, such as Chuki, for example. But nonetheless, like I said, definitely do recommend that car's eBay seller. So let's get around with the review of Broadside, you have his name right now right there on the name tag, which is kind of bented more toward the back but there's the car story logo right there no image or art of the character broadside on the back, they show you almost all of the other new cars that are in Case H. I believe they're missing a few, such as APB. They might be missing something else, but I don't know. But they are Pushover, Jimbo, Roscoe, Fishtail, Ernie Garrison, and Darren Leftfoot. These two are Piston Cup Racers, and these four are part of the Demolition Derby, I don't know, motif, I used to say. And up top, in the upper left-hand corner, you have a bio. says what the car scene movie is about. You want to pause me like you may go ahead. Alrighty, so I said everything I needed to say, so we're going to take Broadside out of the package. Alright, so I got Broadside here out of the package, and even though he's probably one of my least favorite Demolition Derby cars for being how boring he is, at least compared to the other Demolition Derby cars, he still is a pretty cool one to add to the collection. So as you guys can see, he has like this, I don't know what to how to explain his expression, I guess it's like tired or, I don't know, impatient expression, I guess I could say. He has, like, three teeth in there, so it looks like he knocked out some of his teeth. He has brown eyes, a flat eyelids. He has a matte finish, which is accurate for the Demolition Derby cars. He is number 25 in the Demolition Derby. He also has this white line going across his whole body. He even has some texturized rims. Like, you can kind of see blue paint on the rims. Not sure why that'd be there, but I guess it's to have more of the Demolition Derby motif, because they're not going to be completely professional and clean if you know what I'm saying and right here you have like a boarded window it's not exactly a window but like designed to look like a window he has these like little wooden things going from side to side of the back portion like a trunk I'm guessing it doesn't want anything to fall in there in the demolition derby here is his exhaust and smoke stacks, which is on each side of his body right here. He does not have any rear view mirrors. And now he does have, like, some scratches here and there. You might be thinking that's because of chips. No, it's actually how he's supposed to be. And he also has, like, a rusty bumper up front, a painted grill. He doesn't have a grill. I guess he wanted one, so he painted one in front of him. Now, on the back, this text right here, you have to flip him over. Which is kind of wrong, that's exactly what it says. You have to flip him over to see the flip me over sign. I'm not sure why it would be backwards, because, I mean, if someone wants, if, he, if someone's going to read it like this when they're upside down and say, flip me over, or he's flipped over like this, he's already flipped over, you know what I'm saying? So, I mean, it's kind of cool that they changed it up, though. It does say, flip me over. Not professional, looks like someone just spray painted that on him. He's a simple blue pickup truck. I think he might be the smallest pickup truck we've ever gotten. Not sure if Roscoe's any smaller, or maybe he actually is the same thing as Roscoe, because Roscoe is technically a pickup truck himself. He just has, like, the vinyl top with him. Unfortunately, I don't have Roscoe loose, or I don't even have Roscoe to begin with to make sure of that. But uh, when I get him, I'll definitely compare him to Broadside and see if he actually has the same pickup truck model. Because so far, Broadside, if he does not have the same one as Roscoe, he has a brand new pickup truck style, which I'm pretty sure him, he, and probably Roscoe will be the only cars that use a tiny pickup truck model. Because the rest of them are ginormous pickup trucks. And also, guys, don't get confused with the, um, I don't know, the announcer of the Demolition Derby. The announcer of the Demolition Derby is also a blue pickup truck, but it's a different character. He is actually a contender and not the announcer. Don't get him mixed up with that blue pick 
pickup truck announcer and car story. So I do not have any other demolition derby cars that are singles. The other ones I have are Dr. Damage and Miss Fritter. Those don't count because they're deluxes. Except for Taco. Taco's the only other single demolition derby car I have so far. I will be getting pushover loose once I review him, obviously. I do have pushover. I, by the time this it's uploaded, I'll have RB, RV, I mean, and, but by the time, when I'm recording it, I do not have RV yet, but I am getting RV in the mail soon, that's another Demolition Derby car that I'm getting, and I'm trying to save up money to get the, um, Demolition Derby 5-pack, because 4 out of the 5 cars in there I do not have, which is Cruises, French's Beltline, T-Bone, Fishtail, and APB, so hopefully I can get that, because I mean more Demolition Derby cars, and the Demolition Derby cars are so cool cars to collect, so they're very unique. But anyway, um, I'm pretty sure that's it for this video. I don't really have anything else to say about Brass. So just because of how, like, boring. You guys, like I said, he's probably one of my least favorite Demolition Derby related cars. But he's still a pretty cool, nice car. But let me know in the comment section down below. I'm pretty sure a lot of you are going to say Taco. But which one out of these two do you prefer, Taco or Broadside? So that is going to do it for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. And thank you guys all for your crazy support. I'll see you guys all next time in the next vid. Peace out.